Good morning everyone. In today's video I will be solving exam 2 for my dear student at Ajman University and for anyone who actually following the um, Revit, Autodesk Revit architecture elementary course that I posted on YouTube. The exam 2 targeting, uh, you know, the ability of the students to, uh, you know, perform a very simple tasks, for example, like designing a stair. Uh, again, it's a conceptual, uh, uh, not a detailed stairs, uh, based on the previous uh, seven or s actually six lectures that you have done so far in your classes at the university. Now, the case, this is the case one. Each student has been offered in the exam or will be offered a different question exactly. So there's no similar cases in the provided uh, example or sorry, exams. So each student will have in his own question. And let's say, for example, uh, let's have a look at the case one. In case one, it's been required from you to design a monolithic stair with at, at almost you can get for an equal flight in a U-shaped stairs, handle to be on both sides. And of course, the top hand level must be uh, you know connected and set up in a proper way to prevent falling from the gap that you also should open in the upper floor and i would ask asking here for a very simple task to add any type of uh, you know dimension so if you go to the 3d view you're going to find uh, that the setup file that you're going to receive and the levels are just four meter and again each each student will have uh, each student will have his own levels so, and then have his own question so in this case, what we have to do is just very quick one. It won't take a couple of minutes. Uh, I'm gonna take uh, the stairs. I'm going, of course, gonna take with a run straight, and uh, make sure that you have the same system here. It's a monolithic, so pick up uh, monolithic, and make sure that you are going from level one to level two. Now randomly, because I'm gonna click here. I don't know how much it needs, so it's obviously two. Uh, long to be you know in one unit so I'm gonna just press whatever it is and stop that in here and add the other flight in in this point and drag it downward it's uh you know it's almost equal that's that's what I wanted because uh, it can be equal based on the setting of that so if you make it as you know a difference with one or equal that will be perfect but this will be considered as an accepted uh, result now all I have to do is to uh, push the uh, the flight as you can see the landing sorry uh, to match the dotted line which is the designed area uh, it's okay if the flight is less than the provided distance and um, but not more than that unless there is no other option you know that's a different thing and the same thing in here I'm just uh, stretching stretching the edges to be exactly matching as per requested here if it's less than that it's okay it's accepted that you shouldn't go to the max of the dotted line and that will be considered as equal I know it's not a hundred percent but uh, that as much as this designed that's the, the, the that type of the stairs specifically you need to go back to do the calculation but that's out of the focus of this exam for now now finish this and your handle will be placed uh, automatically make sure in the exam to get the handle is exactly placed on the flight not on the center of it now the second step I'm going to do is to select the level and then start to add uh, the slab, sorry, and then start to add the uh, opening. As long as I'm standing here, this is will be way beneath the level and I can just ignore it. I'll just keep it as rectangle as possible. Go check in 3D. And again, you're gonna see this guy has been placed properly. The gap here is accepted as you know, you're supposed to you know increase the slab so the razor will be uh you know uh you know touching uh you know that's that's razor will be depending on the thickness of the slab itself and yeah there is in a way as i explained for you and i will explain sorry for you how to make that the last razor is actually part or touching this level but i will accept this as a correct answer and i can change the handrail to uh Anyway, any, any, anything else rather than that, to be honest, it's a kind of, uh, 
not the one I like. <laughs> so that's uh, that's almost it. Now all I have to do is to select this guy. You, you are free to do to close that, or you go all the way like this, come back to this point and close in this one. But I'll prefer just to close the whole area just to make things as quick as possible. So we're gonna hit edit path, go back to level two, and try to be as accurate as possible with the dimensions you adding so just try to follow the dotted line close the wall here and actually i should have started up uh, from this point going that way finish and you're going to see that join nice and neat placed now uh what else this guy here so i'm going to edit and go back to level two and do the same Probably I'll uh, chain this time. Learning from my mistake. Let's just go there and just go all the way till this point and probably have another 200 mil and just go ahead and close to the wall. All right. That's all I need to make the handrail continuous. You have to make the handrail actually continuous in order to gain full access or full raid for that. I know that will be waste. I know that's not really the best architectural solution. I don't really care. That's uh, what I want to measure in this exam, ladies and gentlemen, is your ability to select the handrail from this there and design it and extend it. That's what I wanted to test. I want to see clear joins like this one. I don't want to see, you know, uh, cut uh, joints and, you know, uh, things that doesn't make any sense if you add if you add it an external as an external um, uh, railing that's more than enough for me and, and now i have to get the ground floor so almost all the required has been met except for the dimension and i'll accept to add any dimension anywhere just to prove that you have you know uh, i don't know it doesn't make sense the dimension now because you know that uh, two uh, rivet is actually sensing too much stuff. Probably it will be better to uh, you know hide the entire category, and that will give you a clear uh, dimension to do better than the mess that the handrail will show us. That will be more than enough. I just want to test your ability if you can do dimension properly, and that's more than enough to answer the question. So this is the real. This is how you need or how you can actually uh, answer the question that we have related to exam two. It's more like an, again an oral exam or um, you know one to one uh, quick uh, examination system that the student have to prove that he can meet the requirement of an on spot. Uh, question or on spot situation that he proved that he you know how to deal in an advanced way with uh, you know any specific problem given to him or her so this is uh, this is uh, the case one number one solved so I'm gonna save that I'm gonna save the project and I'm gonna say case number one uh, dash uh, dash solved so I'm just gonna save that for myself later on I'm solving this one now let's see uh, another option let's see another uh, exam another student actually so let's go ahead again the questions might be uh, uh, you know uh, stairs ramp uh, slope slab whatever you know pops in the head so not only stairs by by the necessity so that's question that's another one Again, I'm going to go and solve that quickly. So I'm going to go save as the project here. And I'm going to solve that one. Very quickly. And it's an L-shape monolithic again. Equal flights and handle on both sides. Same same thing exactly. So I'm going to go to this to the straight. Uh, I don't know how much. Uh, let me test that. Uh, it's incorrect, of course. I forget to change to monolithic. Anywho, so that's the first flight, and that's the second flight, and I bet those are from 12 to uh, 28. That's too much. So I'm going to increase this one. So we're going to have from 1 to 13, and uh, 
it's almost equal I think so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 riser exactly and here 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 let's just drag for extra one and that's it 14 by 14 now the rest is self-explained just push to meet the uh, especially the landing to meet those uh, starting points now I'm gonna have the flight itself and extended to meet the dotted line and as you can see it's a waste of time if you add the, the landing first so just do the do the flights first okay so that's all what we need and that's the answer for the question finish go to level two select the thing edit it now you're free to select the edges of that exactly or just to draw you know uh, an entire void like this one finish go back to 3d to see it and so far so good again the gap here and i said i, I don't mind it for now change the railing as we did something wrong with my mouse i don't know now try to make the decision of how you're gonna close this gap are you going to go this way this way this way and so on or are you gonna just close it that way it's it's possible to not to go rotate it around it and if I met that any type it has to be two because if I meet this one with this one it's gonna be cut itself so I'm trying to make it jointless or at least seeming less uh, so there is no cutting edge or no stopping edge. So what I'm, the trick I'm gonna try to do for the first time. So don't laugh it if it didn't work. Uh, just let me have a chain. Uh, that's a chain. It's already on. So I'm gonna have like a clean number. I cut lots of grades of those who did not add clear number. I noticed some students just sketching around. Sketch but with real clear numbers. That's what I want to you to learn start here and then go another let's say a hundred or so okay and now what i'm going to do is at the middle of the thing i'll just stop i'm going to look for the middle where, where is the middle i have no idea i'm just going to stop let's say uh, 2500 i'm going to stop that and finish and let me check what i'm doing it's perfectly nice now this guy see that's neat and nice there's a really clear joint in here now do the same in here just edit path go level two and just do the line the same way the same distances that you have done in the other side so just that's the hundred it should trigger some uh is it hundred i don't know i don't know i think it's hundred it's look like not but anyway and then stop and then go another hundred and then go all the way to the edge let me see if it's i if i can sense any if i can sense any of that yep i failed miserably okay so i'll depend on this guy and I'll move it willingly to the mid. Okay, now I'll finish. Let's see if it's worked. No. So if I have DI, let me see around how much I have to push 25. Let's make edit type. And then I will move this one. I think 25 it was or something. Does that make any sense? No, but it's working. That's what I wanted. Now let's check. Sound great. Yep. 
and almost there is no join in here that's just a cut off line there is no ugly detail or mess matching for this area so that's uh, that's about it now then you can go ahead and add this three dimension you know how to do that but this is more than enough uh, to solve this uh, case related to an L shape uh, L shape the L shape says that I have in this question it's very quick it doesn't take more than eight minutes and uh, allocated time for you is a 20 minute to answer this exam thank you very much for watching me and have a good day bye bye